In 2009, a male hippo known as Pepe broke out of Escobar's compound and went on the rampage. He terrorized local fishermen, and farmers claimed he attacked and killed six cows. The Colombian government sent in the military to track down and execute Pepe. Okay, this is fascinating to me. That was a clip from The Hunt for Escobar's Hippos, which is going to premiere Wednesday on the Smithsonian uh, Channel. And joining us this morning is Dr. Gina Cerna, who is a part of this documentary, a part of this mission uh, to figure out what to do with these hippos. Good morning, doctor. Joining us from Colombia this morning. Good morning. Thank you for inviting me. Yes, I'm from Medellin right now. This is awesome. A first for the morning blend for us. And, and before we got started, I said, we here in Florida, we know uh, the threat of alligators and we know to kind of look for those in our waterways. But explain if you can, um, because again, I don't think a lot of people realize um, what these hippos are doing to, to Colombia and this part of the, the world right there and uh, what your mission is and trying to get these under control, these animals under control. Yes, well, the hippos are an uh, invasive, invasive species here in Colombia. They were brought from uh, Pablo Escobar uh, in the 80s. And when Pablo Escobar died, uh, the government took all his um, farms and all his land and took all the animals who, who could took it to the zoos, but they left the hippos because in that time they didn't know um, about the hippos so they thought they're going to die but they start to grow up uh, to reproduce sorry and now they become a really really big environmental problem in our country because first of all they're really aggressive and second of all they're not uh, native from our country so they're causing really big trouble to our native animal species so here you have the image of the hippo like walking in Doradal, that is a small town near uh, Naples. Uh, they go like out once, uh, I think once a month and go out to the street and the people, it's normal, we live normal with the hippos, but they are really, really a big danger for the community. So the, it started with four. How many do we think there are now? Ah, oh, uh, 60, 80, yeah, I think um, uh, about a, 80 or 90, yeah. Okay, so what is the, how on earth do you try to control the population now? I mean, what do you do? I mean, because from what I did in, or in my research and in, in, um, looking into this, it seemed like if you can sterilize them and stop them from, you know, breeding, which it seems like that's what you're trying to do, right? You and your team? Yes, yeah, because um, we have uh, this uh, judge sentence that we cannot kill them because normally in what countries do with um, invasive species that they kill them because they are a bit a really big problem for the um, mm -hmm. environment. Uh, but uh, what we you saw with Pepe, um, this judge said you cannot kill them. So we have to work to do another stuff to try to control them and sterilizing them is like the best way um, to control the But it's the super dangerous. It's, right? <laughs> it's, it's super like, dangerous. my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's dangerous because these animals are not in a zoo. They are living in the wild. So we have to catch them and sterilize them. And then if one zoo wants it, we translate them to the zoo. But otherwise, we have to free them again in the, in the wild. So it's really dangerous job, I know. Well, people are going to be able to watch you do uh, that job on Wednesday. When people are done watching this documentary, what do you hope they take away from this? And again, uh, I mean, it's just crazy to me. What do you hope they take away from it? No, I hope the people see that uh, all the problems we have here in Colombia because of the hippos, like invasive species, and what uh, are the efforts we are doing to try to control these animals. And really, we need help.
we need help. So that's that's the message here. You need help. All right. Well, yeah. thank you so much again. It's a first for us having a guest from Columbia this morning. Again, the show is going to premiere on Wednesday at 8 p.m. on the Smithsonian Channel. You take care, stay healthy, and uh, <laughs> stay protected. My goodness. Again, we know alligators here. We don't know about the challenges of hippos, thankfully. <laughs> Thank you for inviting me, and I hope the people like the, the documentaries. Oh, really, I'm really sure they will. Cool. Thank you, Doctor. <laughs> we, of course, will put Thank more info you. on our website. <laughs> <laughs>